Today we're here in Chinchilla as part of the Flying Surgical and Obstetric Gynaecology Service. So we hopped on a plane from Roma this morning and flew um, here to Chinchilla to deliver specialist services to the locals in this area. So the day is broken up to time in theatre and also seeing the local um, patient base that needs specialist attention and then can be booked for, for treatment in the future. Yeah, getting to see a lot of varied different presentations and getting some hands-on experience, so it's great. It's a great opportunity to have some autonomy, so there's a lot of trust in terms of being able to actually talk to patients, ask them about their history and what they feel like is going on, and I think it's, it's a great way to just start synthesising all the things that you've been learning in books about for so long. So if you're going on a rural placement, um, it's a great idea just to keep an open mind to start with. So you'll see so many different people um, from various backgrounds and different clinical presentations as well. So just be prepared. You may have a lot more independence that you, no that you normally wouldn't in the city. And so every year I go out to a tiny little town in the Northern Territory called Elliot, which is a, a remote indigenous community. Yeah, I'm there for a few weeks in the medical center there. And I hope to use some of the lessons that I've learned from the locals there to better deliver healthcare to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in the future. It's a lot of study and there's, you know, you can feel like you're drowning in workload and that, that sort of thing, but there's a lot of opportunities and there's a lot of uh, really good people to meet. So if you get out there and just get involved, you'll, you'll end up finding things you like and things that perhaps you normally wouldn't have gone into. Something outside of medicine to keep yourself a little bit sane um, and to really look after yourself and your mates, especially when things get a bit busy as well.